Festival of Japanese Culture is um, a project which is, is a taster project for that we wanted to do, which is just give people a sort of a slice of Japanese culture with the intention that um, next year and onwards that it will become a much bigger bigger event. We've got some films, we've got a talk by a, an Asian cinema expert, we've got live music, we've got food and drink tasters, we've got sake and sushi and miso soup. So we're just giving people a, a slice of culture that, particularly in Lincoln, that you know they wouldn't have um, been exposed to before. The first film at the festival was um, Akira and it's its 25th anniversary this year. I mean it was the first big anime that kind of hit it off in the West. It was the first film in the sort of late 80s that really brought anime over here. And then the second film, Pigs in Battleships, is actually a film that I've not seen yet. We wanted to bring over a film which was which people definitely wouldn't have seen and definitely wouldn't have seen it in the cinema. Um, so we the main thing we wanted to do was attach somebody who was an expert in Asian cinema, and that's when we uh, thought of Jasper Sharp. So I got an email about a year ago from David saying he was putting up this festival together in Lincoln and would I be interested in talking, and it, I thought it sounded really interesting. Um, yeah, I do quite a bit of programming across the UK, but I, sort of Lincoln was sort of off my radar, so I'm quite excited that uh, this event is happening here. Pigs and Battleships is a really interesting work. It sort of um, emblemises that turning point between the sort of more studio-based filmmaking and the new wave. Um, it's directed by Shohei Mamura. Uh, it's a it was made as a commercial studio film and it's based around sort of the black market operations going on around outside an American naval base um, around the time of the US occupation of Japan. So it's, it's very interesting looking at the democratisation of Japan, the sort of movement to a sort of more consumer-led society, but um, what it meant for the average Japanese man on the street. What we wanted to achieve was, you know, we run a community group, we love providing community activities and this is an, another thing we wanted to provide for, for Lincoln. So we wanted to kind of broaden people's sort of tastes and, and, and knowledge of different cultures, that's the main goal. Um, and it's been great to see people from 15 years old to people who are 75 years old and everyone in between, which has been a big surprise for us. Um, um, this is going to be an annual event now. Next year we want it to, to run much longer, so we're partnering up already with different art, local Japanese artists and national Japanese artists, and we're going to have much more sort of community engagement. So we're going to be running filmmaking courses specialises in the techniques of ozu or you know you know things like that. So we're going to be you know running manga workshops, calligraphy workshops, tea making ceremonies, so the whole thing is just going to be kind of much bigger and we're going to have much more activity.